Hello, today we're going to talk about gate plates. These are a very common prescription that comes into the lab and sometimes there's confusion over which side to extend on the gate plate. So there are two things to remember here. Firstly, and I would say this is the most important when you're writing a prescription or sending in a prescription form, indicate to the lab what the problem is. Uh, often a lab receives an order for a gate plate and it will say gate plate and that's it. We don't know what the problem is or what the design should be because there are two different choices. We can have a medial or a lateral extension. So I would say step number one, most important, when you're sending a prescription into a lab and you need a gate plate, tell them what the problem is, i.e. describe the pathology. So you could say patient in toes or patient out toes or gate plate for in towing, gate plate to induce out towing then it's clear what the problem is. Once you have uh, determined that, or it's clear to the lab what's required, then the second thing is to design the orthotic correctly. So gate plates can have an extension. So often, here's an example of orthotics, and the patient will in -tow. That's typical for the use of a gate plate. Which side do you put the extension on? Well, there are a couple of ways to think about it. If the patient in -tows, in fact, their feet would be in this position, and notice that if we had them walk on this gate plate, they'd have to vault over the long lateral edge. So one way to consider the positioning of the extension on the gate plate is to consider that in orthotics in general, the line of progression of the body is perpendicular to the line of the uh, trim line of the foot orthotic. So in a normal foot orthotic, the trim line is horizontal and the line of progression would be in this vertical direction. So for a gate plate, it will be the same condition. So if the patient in toes, their feet will rotate inwards, their legs will rotate inwards, and you will notice that in order for them to have the line of progression perpendicular to the trim line of the orthotic, they would need to rotate their feet outwards so the line of progression is perpendicular in that sense. So those are the considerations for gate plates. Always describe the pathology or the condition of the patient and then you want to put the line of progression of the uh, distal end of the orthotic perpendicular to the trim line of the orthotic itself. So to summarize that, just remember one thing, patients with in-toe gait get lateral extensions. If you remember that, in-toe gait equals lateral extensions, then the opposite is true for patients that out-toe.